Well, welcome back everyone to another Kitchen Table TCG box opening video. Today we got a little double action. We're gonna do a Monarch Unlimited uh, and a WTR Unlimited uh, for Adam R. Adam, I'm glad that you uh, did this. What do you wanna do first, Adam? You wanna do Monarch or WTR? Okay, cool, we'll do Monarch first. And uh, we also have, where are they? We got two packs somewhere. Oh, they're right here. We have two packs. We have a pack for a patron, uh, and we have a pack for uh, a, a trivia question uh, here on TCG. T T What's my channel called? Kitchen Table TCG uh, that we'll get into kind of towards the end of the video. Uh, super excited. Let's hop in and crack open some Monarch. We had a good stream tonight. A little shout out to Corey. Uh, Corey Bonehead Barrier Corey uh, hooked me up with this awesome playmat. I'm getting closer to my uh, my full playmat collection. I am going to officially stop my full playmat collection uh, at the Skirmish Command and Conquer playmat. I might pick up a couple of them here and there uh, in the future, but uh, I, I, it needs to have an end at some point. And now that I have an LGS, I don't want there to be any shenanigans or people accusing me of stuff. And I know that they're part of the armory kits or whatever. So uh, I, I'm going to stop it at the Command and Conquer map. Uh, and I'm going to call that my collection of Flesh and Blood play maps. So I think I need two more. I got some coming from uh, from uh, from New Zealand and I uh, just need a couple more and then I'm I'm done. So I'm excited to have the, the collection of play maps that I was looking for. And uh, so thank you, Corey, for that. All right, Adam, that's uh Let's hop in and see what we can pull you. We had a fun case break last night. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We opened lots of packs. Uh, we had a double legendary case in um, in WTR, and we had a, a legendary case. Yeah, we hit a legendary. Who we hit? I don't even remember what legendary we hit in Monarch, but I'm sure we hit one. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a good, good, good time. Uh, other than that, getting ready for some skirmish event stuff this weekend. Uh, I'm hosting a skirmish event for a local game store uh, in my Discord server that we're capped at 64 people. Uh, one thing, ooh, Mark of the Beast, there we go. Uh, there we go, Adam, boom, first Majestic. One thing, a lot of feedback I'm hearing from players on skirmishes is that they don't like the long, multiple round, like, skirmish events. They, they, uh, they're they they're taking too long on the webcam, whatever. Uh, and some of these skirmish events that are getting to the, like, 100 players is, you know, the eight rounds. It's just taking a long time. Uh, so, uh, our skirmish event, we're capping at 64, which is still... Oh! Dude, Adam, we got a the, the, we got an eclipse, baby, a legendary right off the bat. Let's go. That's awesome, and a tome of torment. Wow, that would have been a great shadow. The people who did the case break in the shadow slot last night are probably upset right now because that could have been a great shadow pack. Man, that's awesome, eclipse. Uh, I need to get some of these rainbow foil ones for myself to put in decks uh, because those are pretty cool. And uh, I, I would like to try to summon these awesome creatures. I have, I have not gotten to do that yet in a game. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, the skirmish events, uh, you know, we're, we're capping ours at 64, which is still six rounds. Uh, I just lost the light. I have a new light set up. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the rest of them won't get lost, um, which is, you know, still six rounds, which is a, which is a good bit. Uh, but, uh, it's, it's definitely quicker than, uh, you know, an eight round one. So I'm curious what you guys think, like w skirmishes that go eight rounds or something like that. Are, are you finding those less enjoyable? I'm just trying to plan for the next skirmish stuff. It's like a double edged sword because as a store, you want people to be involved as many people as possible, but you also want people to feel like their time is valuable. And I know like the prize support doesn't always change. Uh, tear limb for limb, the majestic. Um, so, uh, but skirmish season, it's going, it's crazy. Everything's selling out like crazy. I know, like for ours, we capped it, like I said, at 64, uh, and there's a wait list. Um, so, like, it, it's going, it's awesome to see. Like, anybody who says nobody plays flesh and blood is not doing any research. <laughs> like, they are just not doing, like, they are so, like, it's so, I don't, I don't want to be mean, but it's so just like not doing any research. There's zero basis for the claim that nobody plays Flesh and Blood. And that's like my favorite art, smash with big trees, smash, smash, smash. It's like my favorite argument because like, it's so obvious that the, the player base is growing rapidly. And I love that. 
Um, and we've talked about a lot on the channel where like all these prices like Command and Conquer and Enlightened Strike, the price of those singles going up suggests that people are buying cards to play the game. Uh, all these playable cards that are kind of skyrocketing in price. Um, it's awesome. It's good. It it is a it's a you know it's an attitude of there there's a balance right like you don't want the cards to be too expensive, but like there is a balance of like it says that the game is growing and that's a good place to be in. So the game's growing. It's really exciting. Um, Adam, we got you all the good cards, man. I mean, now it's like, what else are we doing here? Um, I guess we could use a couple more Majestics, but uh, I mean, you got yourself, you know, your money back and eh, I mean, 55 bucks back. That's pretty good. That's pretty close to your money back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do have box openings still available if anybody wants them at CavDanesMarket.com. Ooh, Nourishing Emptiness. Boom. Um, at CavDanesMarket.com, I'm going to kind of just kind of keep box openings uh, on the website, you know, patrons, you get $5 off a box opening. I'm going to kind of just keep them on the website so that, um, at any point, uh, there's some available and that, you know, it's never more than a week or two behind, uh, on the schedule. So, uh, if you're interested in that, um, but anyway, it seems like skirmish season is going well and is being a hit. Uh, and, and that tells me that the game's growing. That's a good place. I know we're in like this little weird marketplace where like the collectors aren't here. But they're here. Like the collectors are still around. Like that's not, that's not, let's not pretend that most people who are collecting this game weren't playing a really long play. Most of them are are, are long term believe in the game, uh, and we're starting to see some of the softer hands who maybe weren't into it. But like, I think most people who are selling cards right now are selling as a result of like family things that they need to get the price. Um, and that's causing, you know, maybe some other people to say, uh, I want to, I want to capture, you know, this, this current market before it goes down more. I and mean, there's probably some of that. There we go. Folio majestic, deep rooted evil. Uh, there's probably some of that too, but like, I think really for the most part, this is like, it's just a, a, a market thing. And the point being that the game is growing and that's important. Uh, that's an important part. So. Uh, I'm going to build a Visceride deck that's not going to be OTK, a, a mid-range Beacon of Victory. I think I'm going to play a mid-range vi uh, Visceride deck uh, that uh, Zach from um, uh, Heretical Gaming, Her Her Heretical, yeah, I think Heretical Gaming has uh, been playing. Zach is on the Kitchen Table TCG competitive team. He's actually one of the team leaders. Uh, and uh, I'm really excited to start trying to build that list. I might adapt it a little bit, but uh, really I'm excited to play his list and really learn how it plays because I really like Viscerai, uh, and uh, I, I'm excited to kind of dive into a new hero. So that's my that's my list of things to do to, well, today, tonight, tomorrow, but tonight, today, I done my list of things to do to actually put the deck together and build it so that I can play on Thursday night in our armory event. Uh, and I'm excited for that. So uh, I'm excited to play a new deck that's not the OTK version. I wanted to do a different hero, but I also really like Sonata Arconic. So I really want to play that card. Um, but hey, by the way, I have free commons available at cavdainsmarket.com. If you're looking to hop in and learn how to play the game, uh, it's a great way to do it. And there's actually deck lists as well. I'm working on the Monarch uh, deck list that utilize only commons. But uh, dude, Adam, great first box, man. I mean, <laughs> you got a legendary, so you got to be happy. Uh, and then you got good, you know, you got pretty good cards too behind that. Um, so five regular Majestics, a couple good ones, and then uh, the Eclipse. All right, let's see what we get in this WTR box. Ooh, dude, it's been a while since I pulled a heart. Uh, Mitch from Midtown Merchant uh, sent me a, a photo the other day. He pulled like four hearts in like six cases or something. Like that. I don't remember exactly, but like four hearts in like a stupidly small number of cases. Uh, he was pulling fire last week. Um, and so like, I'm like itching to pull, I was like stoked at him when you bought a WTR box break. Cause I was like, yes, let me rip open WTR. Let me pull a heart uh, so we can uh, have another heart on stream for, for patrons. Like, oh, I want that so bad. All right, blackout kick, bl uh, blessing of difference, foil, last ditch effort. All right, hopefully we get another foil super rare majestic because that's not the one that you want. Uh, and certainly not this, this early. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to play a new deck. You know, I, I think, um, I think one of the reasons, oh my gosh, Foil Drone of Brutality. 
Uh, one of the reasons uh, I'm excited to play a new deck is I've historically played like these not super competitive decks, kind of like more fringy decks. And like I'm, I'm excited to play a deck that's been tested and like uh, actually learned the kind of meta. I, I kind of, um, in, in TCGs, I always kind of play this game of like, I don't want to always copy, uh, but like at some point I also want to be competitive. Um, and, and, and that's a, a, a line that I need to learn for myself in TCGs, really. Um, it's just a line I need to learn. I don't know. I, I hate the, like, net decking type thing. Uh, so then I always try to, like, do it myself. But I'm also just not, like, a great deck builder. Like, that is not my strength in TCGs. Uh, that's why this isn't, like, a deck building YouTube channel, right? This is why I talk mostly about finances. Because that's something I really feel like I'm decent at in, in, uh, in card games and like, man, the foiling on these new lights. Uh, I got new lights, they're sweet. Uh, they look good, foils look good, I'm excited. Um, so like, I'm excited to play like a more top tier deck and like compete and to see how I can do. Um, and, and that's like one of the reasons, honestly, like that's one of the biggest reasons I wanted to like invest in a competitive team uh, in terms of like my time and like uh, conversations and stuff because like, I want to learn the game at a higher level, but I don't know that I have, ooh, bonehead barrier. I don't know that I have like the skills and abilities to do it without like learning from other people. Uh, and so like, I'm really excited to, to learn a lot from Zach and to like hear him out on like what he thinks his, you know, deck is good at and whatever. Uh, so you know, be on the lookout for me playing that um, because I think that's gonna happen this week. I think we'll build that. Uh, what else? Flesh and Blood World. I don't know, man. We've been... We had the stream. We talked... Oh, Ancestral Empowerment. There we go. Uh, these... Dude, the artwork is so... Look at that. You've got, like... Oh, uh, the ancestors coming to fight with Kasu. Whew. Man. That card is cool. Uh, it's been a long time since I've played Ninja. Like, that was my first deck when I first got into Flesh and Blood. I played a Ninja. It was like, I didn't understand... I didn't understand the difference between, oh, Kobe, foil Kobe. Um, I did not understand the difference of, uh, of like classic constructed and blitz when I first started. So like my friend had a blitz deck uh, that we kind of like net decked or whatever. And then I had a classic constructed deck. And I was like, oh yeah, it's the same thing. You just, you, know, you just start with less life. It's just to make the game faster. It is not the same thing at all. Like, it is just not. Um, so, like, I haven't played Ninja since back then. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm excited. To do, we're going to do this classic constructive league in our Discord server. Uh, and I'm excited to do... Uh, I'm excited to play some classic constructed. Iron Song Determination. This card is valuable right now. Uh, I'm excited to do some classic constructed so I can hop in and play some ninja uh, because like ancestral empowerment is such a such a cool card um, and like Lord of Wind like uh, to fire off Lord of Wind is a blast like it is so much fun if you can get that to trigger and like it does not happen every game but if you can get Lord of Wind to trigger you just feel like a freaking champ uh, and I, I, I miss that uh, I, I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to playing uh, a little classic constructed here next month. We're kicking that off in, Ju in July. It's gonna be a cool league. Like every week, you're gonna be uh, paired with um, a, a person to play your game, and you'll have all week to play your game. Hurricane technique, boom! You'll have all week to play your game, uh, and then you know after that, you'll get paired with another. And you'll play four rounds, uh, and so it's a, just a good way, I think. Um, to learn how to play classic constructed uh and, and to not have to like commit to a night and then like classic constructed games take like an hour hour and a half so uh, i think it's a good way to to practice so that's part of the the patreon if you're interested um local you know local to my store you get you don't have to be a patron but uh you know if you're if you're online patrons get access to that it'll be a lot of fun drone of brutality and a rising mithras uh, as we close up, I did want to mention a little bit of market stuff. I do feel like uh, in terms of WTR Unlimited, we are going to start seeing some softness in pricing uh, because, ooh, another pounding gale, because there simply is a lot of product hitting uh, 
hitting the stores and that's going to gravitate towards just a, a more soft singles market. But I do feel like we're, we've are we got to be approaching the bottom of the alpha stuff. Like, it, we, it's got to be close. There's just not... There's not that many sellers. There are a, a decent number of cards, but they're all kind of in the same seller. Um, or the same sellers. And so, like, I, I feel like we're getting close to the end of this kind of dip. I really think early July, you got like a week or two, I think. Uh, before some some big buys start happening. Uh, we're almost, it's crazy, like, we're, ooh, another duplication there, another ancestral power. Uh, you know, we're, we're getting close to July, and that's a, I think that's going to be a big month in Plus and Blood, honestly. Um, I do, I really do. I think it's going to be a big month. So, uh, Flick Flack, Steel Blade Shunt, and a Foil Drone of Brutality. All right, so that was a pretty good box. You didn't get a Legendary, but... Um, you know, two ancestral empowerments. Uh, you got a foil. Oh, I just lost the light there. I told you guys it was gonna happen. The battery was dying. We'll do the rest in the dark. Uh, you got a pounding gale, ancestral empowerment, and a bonehead barrier. All right, this is the the patron pack. I'm waiting on Amazon to deliver the the power supply for the lights. So, uh, patron pack. Here we go. Uh, this is you know for the first 20 patrons that really supported the channel. Uh, 15 is Michael L, uh, and it's a lot of fun. You know, they, they, they paid a little bit more uh, and they want to support the channel and have access to, they, you know, that the original goal here was that they uh, they supported, ooh, smash the victory. Um, they supported the channel in a different way. All right, where's our foil? It's like so dark. That's our foil, zealous beating, uh, consuming after, ooh, guardian of the shadow realm. There you go, Michael. All right, man, congratulations. That'll be sent out to you. All right, here's your trivia question. I know this is a long video. Before you go, remember, if you need comments, if you, I've got a bunch now, so head to capdanesmarket.com if you're looking for comments. Here's the trivia question. Cheyenne, uh, what uh, what does she need to do to conceal herself? So, so Cheyenne is a Gemini, which, uh, you know, in the lore, I think they do like some, some like, they're like um basically ninja like they assassins whatever so what does she need to do with, to conceal herself what all she needs to do is one thing to conceal herself all right let me know in the comments section and if it's a good card in here you'll get it if it's just commons and rares you won't uh foil second swing invigorating light and a battlefield all right so nothing but let me know if you want to do the part of the trivia question but we will just throw these in the free common pile i uh, hope you guys have a great day uh adam congratulations you did get a legendary you did pretty good on wtr not the best box i've ever seen but also not like the absolute dumpster fire worst uh ancestral power was a pretty good card um, so thank you so much for allowing me to open some boxes for you. If anyone else is interested in more box openings, we do have some at cabdanesmarket.com. I think we're into next week uh, by the time your box will be open. So hope you guys have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you, and we'll see you uh, later for an Arcane Rising market update.